I think the whole goal of taking your work to the community that you serve uh, uh, is, is important. Uh, it's important to me. Dr. Saeed is a very accomplished psychiatrist and behavioral scientist who has pioneered the work of telepsychiatry. Any other questions or concerns for today? Using uh, electronic tools to deliver psychiatric evaluation and care across the state of North Carolina from, in his case, uh, Greenville, the Brody School of Medicine at ECU. Growing up in Northwest Pakistan, uh, 100 miles from the border of Afghanistan, uh, when I say uh, I've seen poverty, I've seen poverty. Quite honestly, until I moved to Eastern North Carolina, I would have never believed that poverty of the type I see and problem in access, such as the one I started seeing here, uh, would exist in America. He's done things that people thought would be impossible. I mean, tell us psychiatry. People probably thought that was impossible when it was his idea, and now it's in 60 hospitals. It saved the state $25 million. To describe Dr. Saeed, I would definitely think supreme clinician. He really brings excellence to everything that he does as far as patient care and healthcare delivery. So it's not just the one-to-one -one patient focus, but he really is a, a visionary when it comes to the delivery of mental health care. In his heart, it has been and is for the underserved populations of rural Eastern North Carolina. Strange as it may sound, I actually decided to become a physician in my eighth grade. I was interested in, uh, in human beings. I have always known, uh, ever since I decided to uh, become a physician, that I wanted to be in academic medicine. So I came to ECU in 2004, so this is my 15th year. What got me to Eastern Carolina was probably the reason many psychiatrists were leaving uh, Eastern or North Carolina for that matter, because North Carolina was going through a mental health reform. Mental health centers were being closed and a system that at the time was very functioning uh, in North Carolina had a much higher ranking, uh, quickly went down. Out of 100 counties, uh, 31 counties have no psychiatrist, uh, so a third of the counties have no psychiatrist in North Carolina. Most of those counties are in the east. ECU has been known as a telemedicine institution for many years, but he really took it to a different level. And in many ways, I think Dr. Saeed really revived the notion of telemedicine through telepsychiatry and the program he developed statewide. He thought of it, he, he developed the blueprint for it. He literally built the door of telepsychiatry for communities that otherwise would not have mental health professional services. If you have someone driving three hours uh, to come to do a screen, whether they require hospitalization, at the end of the day, that's not what's needed. Uh, they spend six hours on the road just for that. Uh, and you can do it remotely, so you can provide that pre-hospitalization screen. What Dr. Saeed's program does is enable provision of those services all across North Carolina in settings that simply would not get that benefit if we had to do it by getting someone to go to that community to deliver those services. We live in times when care of uh, psychiatric disorder has never been more successful. Unfortunately, when we also live in times when a large number of uh, people do not have access to what science has promised them. To keep that promise, uh, we need to be in community-based settings, not to wait for the crisis to happen so that the patient shows up in emergency department, but to treat them early on and cash that in the early stages. For mental health uh, and the telemedicine, telepsych piece of that, uh, I would like to build more sites in community-based settings. 
If we can have somewhere around 20 to 30 such clinics across the state, we can take care of all of our underserved population. He has impacted the lives of so many, literally millions through telepsychiatry and the development of that delivery service. And not only just in a healthcare uh, arena, but really for a population that often doesn't have a voice. His commitment to the people of North Carolina, to his residents, to the students at ECU, to his faculty who love him, growing faculty and mentoring students and faculty, um, and teaching them to be their authentic selves. And he exemplifies that. This is a good place uh, to practice Madison because the need is there and what you do makes a difference.